certainly does have claws. Subsequently, the release, but this is also one of the top 10 biggest buffalo ever from this lake. Some fishermen walk the line between what is legal and what is not. They do things other fishermen wouldn't dare to do to catch a fish. For these fishermen, fishing is not just about the money, it's about pride too. Capturing something that was never meant to be seen can sometimes lead to a good laugh for them, but I am sure it will scare you. We've all seen the videos of people falling over at the grocery store, for instance. However, for many people fishing professionally, getting an embarrassing snap taken on their camera means losing money and being reprimanded by management. This list concerns 20 times fishermen captures what no one was supposed to see. Number 20. Unidentified catch. Mermaids? Something unknown, like a mermaid, was caught in the fisherman's net. The crew freaked out, and the net fell back into the water. Fishermen don't usually get surprised when they pull up their nets, but this time, they caught something so strange that they accidentally dropped it back into the water. It looked like a normal shark until someone filmed it. From the net, what looks like a human arm with a webbed hand reaches back at the men as if to grab them. The men lean back to avoid it, but the net slips and falls back into the ocean. They rush to lean over the ship's side to see if they can see the mysterious sea creature again. It was said that this monster was about three foot long and was made by sewing a monkey's back half to a fish's back half as a taxidermy oddity. Why haven't we caught one is one of the main arguments against mermaids, but the same thing was said about giant squids for hundreds of years before we could catch one on film, let alone alive. Could this be a mermaid, or just another strange fish in the ocean? Share your view in the comments section below. And now it's time for the star topic. This amazing sight is not commonly seen. The behavior is rarely witnessed, and even then, it's not always certain what the shark was doing. Sharks are known to be breached when attacking seals, swimming boats, or chasing prey trying to get away. But this time, it went beyond the ordinary. After years of fishing, a team of fishermen couldn't believe what they saw on this fateful day. They were greeted with the most amazing sight you are about to see. Remember to fasten your seatbelt if you are driving. Watch as the Great White's powerful tail thrusts into the air and then back down to the water, where it stalks its prey. The shark's size doesn't do justice to this particular behavior. At 907.2 kilograms or more, you'd think a breach would make any fish nervous. However, that makes this scene so fascinating. The shark acts like a predator with just one purpose in mind and pursues that goal relentlessly. What an amazing breach from a shark when it's hungry. Now I'm curious, what is the biggest stunt you've ever done for food? Tell us in the comment section down below. Number 19. Disturbing moment a shark is pulled out of the ocean. Two fishermen caught a huge shark with most of its body missing. The two of them pull up an amazing video of their catch. It looks like another shark ate this one before it was caught. Two fishermen had pulled out a shark out of the ocean with it missing most of its body. This all happened during a fishing trip off the coast of Queensland, about 250 kilometers from the Gold Coast. This is where Sammy Hitsky and Sean Whale caught footage of an amazing catch they made. Now what happens in it, the two men hook what they think is a really big fish on the other end of the line, and they spend the next few hours trying to bring it in. The thrusher shark only seems to have its vertebrae connecting the front half of its body from its pectoral fins to its tail, since the rest of the shark's flesh has been eaten away. As two men pull the fish onto their boat, Sammy notices that the shark has another hook stuck in its mouth. He said, I can't believe he was taken advantage of. Sharks are getting sharked. This is epic. He doesn't have three quarters of himself. Sammy and Sean finally get the shark on their boat to look at it more closely. Could this have been the works of another shark? Or maybe something bigger and hungrier? Number 18. Giant Tasmanian Freshwater Crayfish Jeremy Wade finds a really big crayfish, which are only found in Tasmania. This species was hunted almost to extinction in the past, mostly because of how big and tasty its meat was. The Tasmanian government saw how bad things were for the species and had the foresight to put it on a list of endangered species many years ago. Giant freshwater crayfish often have a carapace length of around 120 millimeters, but they can get as long as 400 millimeters. 
They don't get this big quickly, but can live for about 30 years. This is the largest known freshwater invertebrate. It usually weighs 500 grams, but can sometimes weigh 6 kilograms. Astacopsis goldi, as it's also known as, is territorial. Males take care of a group of females called a harem. The hatchlings are only 6 millimeters long and grow up very slowly. They can live for up to 40 years. Males reach sexual maturity at around 9 years old and females at about 14. Females only breed once every 2 years. Mating happens in the fall and the eggs are attached to the female's swimming legs while they grow. The eggs hatch the following summer, but the hatchlings stay attached to the legs for another month. Due to a long time it takes to have babies, the females spent most of their lives with their young attached to their legs. This is a good way to stay safe, as there are no natural predators for fully grown adults. But when people fish for adult crayfish, not only do they catch the adults, but they also catch all of their young. Number 17. Fishermen catch giant 4.8 meter long sea creature. In Chile, a group of fishermen just reeled in a huge scary fish that measured 4.8 meters in length. The locals are concerned that this may be a bad omen for earthquakes and tsunamis. It was determined that the fish caught in the city of Arica was a colossal oarfish, fish, also referred to as a rowing fish. Oarfish fish spend the majority of their lives under deep water and only come to the surface when they are unwell, about to die, or to reproduce. According to information provided by National Geographic, and I quote, Oarfish are not even remotely harmful to people, even though they were likely the inspiration for many ancient myths about sea serpents and other sea monsters. Oarfish have a natural aperture to their digestive tract because they consume such minute organisms like plankton. They don't even have genuine teeth either. Instead, they have structures called gill rakers that are far more fragile and are used to grab very small creatures. Oarfish have been spotted near the surface of the sea on occasions, but scientists believe that this is either because they are being driven there by storms or strong currents, or maybe they are there because they are in distress or dying. Although a spluttering oarfish may appear like a terrifying sea creature, it is not believed to be a threat to humans or boaters. By the way, if you are yet to press the subscribe button, do that now, because fishermen are about to catch something so big, you're gonna kick yourself if you miss it. And you would probably get a cut if it's a fish. Number 16. Grouper eats four-foot shark in one bite. As fishing skipper John Broussard and his crew prepared to set sail from Goodland in the state of Florida in the USA, they were on hand to record this peculiar occurrence. John, who is 57 years old, claimed that they were shocked when the larger fish swallowed the shark that they had hooked in only one bite. As the Goliath grouper in the Atlantic swam away with their catch, the skipper couldn't believe what he was seeing and couldn't believe his eyes. When questioned about the occurrence, he explained, We were fishing in the hopes of catching sharks. A few of our three Goliath groupers began hanging out under the boat, awaiting for the arrival of the sailors' catch. Simply put, we were thinking, Wow, this is fantastic! It seems inevitable that an animal far larger than a shark will consume a shark in the future. It's safe to say that they were definitely caught off guard by the news, as it devoured the shark to bring it to the ground and cut the line. They had made use of a line that had a breaking strength of 50 pounds, but apparently that proved to be insufficient for the cause. According to John, the victim was a black-nosed shark that measured approximately 0.91 meters in length. Number 15. Glowing-eyed sea creature chases fishermen. When a fisherman is being pursued by a terrifying sea creature with glowing eyes, this moment occurs. The unidentified thing can be seen continually emerging from the water as it looks to be pursuing the fisherman fleeing in a boat as the creature appears to be tracking it down. The video, which lasts for about 47 seconds, was shot off the coast of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil's most southern state. The unnamed fisherman labeled the video, wanted to assault me, as he caught himself desperately attempting to get away from his pursuers while filming himself. The monster is hardly discernible in the video, and the only way it can be seen is because of two bright spots that appear to represent its eyes. It leaps out of the water like a dolphin, but it gives off the impression of being much more dangerous as it gets closer and closer to the boat. Roughly ten times, the creature can be seen emerging from the water, with its eyes fixed intently on the camera. 
It is eventually driven off course by the slipstream created by the speedboat. The video elected horrified responses from some social media users, while others insisted that the animal in the clip was only a seal. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions regarding this scene. Number 14. New Jersey Fisherman Catches Astonishing Moment with a Whale Fishing off the shore of New Jersey produced quite the fish tale, with two boats coming dangerously close to being struck by a huge breaching whale. It happened once more two days later, this time to a father and son off Seaside Heights. Zach Peller claimed that since Monday, he and his father, Doug, had gone fishing every day. According to him, he started filming when he saw a whale's tail sticking out of the water and then fish jumping directly in front of them. A large humpback whale breached right next to their boat a second later. Zach Piller told Fox Weather, When you see fish jumping, anything might be the cause. Sharks, dolphins, and other animals could be there. The last thing I anticipated was seeing a humpback whale in front of me that weighed 27,215 kilograms. Funnily enough, it actually looked like the whale ended up snogging the boat a bit, but other than that, the boy claimed everything was okay in the end. His father even held on to the fish that he had hooked. Zach Piller also stated, I've been fishing off the coast since I was a child, and I've seen many humpback whales from a 30.48 meter distance. I had never seen one so close that the barnacles on the underbelly could be seen. Number 13. Fishermen Catch Huge Stingray in Cambodia Fishermen's jaws dropped when they discovered a massive 300 kilogram stingray. The biggest freshwater fish ever recorded had been caught in a little fishing community along the Mekong River in Cambodia. The 3.96 meter fish now dethrones the 293 kilogram catfish discovered in northern Thailand in 2005. It also gives rise to new hopes for the survival of giant freshwater fish, a species currently under severe threat. Locals watch scientists and researchers from Cambodia, the United States, and the Fisheries Administration prepare to reintroduce a massive freshwater stingray to the Mekong River. According to Che Sailor, a member of the American Cambodian research team Wonders of the Mekong, a fisherman caught the enormous stingray on the evening of June 13th while he was cataloging freshwater fish. The following morning, the fisherman contacted her crew, according to Sailor. The stingray was weighed before being set free. According to the World Wildlife Fund, populations of freshwater fish weighing 30 kilograms or more have decreased by 94% since 1970, and over a third of all freshwater fish species are in danger of going extinct. This is even more surprising considering that 16 species, including the Chinese paddlefish, were declared extinct in 2020 alone. Locals have previously reported to the researchers seeing enormous black shadows underneath the water at night. Before the catch, they believed they were ghosts. Number 12. Austin Anderson's Giant Smallmouth Buffalo Austin Anderson is a fisherman who lives in Texas. He specializes in catching smallmouth buffalo, a fish many people don't even know exists. The bottom feeding species is related to carp and is native to larger tributaries of the Mississippi River from Montana, east of Pennsylvania and West Virginia, as well as Gulf Slope drainages from Alabama to the Rio Grande. Anderson usually goes after smallmouth buffalo in Texas's reservoirs. He recently caught one of the biggest ones of his life, weighing in at 27.2 kilograms. Anderson runs the Carp Pro Texas Guide Service. He was fishing with David Graham and Josh Dolin. Anderson showed them how to catch smallmouth buffalo in Lake Fork, Texas. Graham and Dolan were filming for a web series that they planned to put on Amazon Prime. Lake Fork may be the best lane in the country for base fishing, but many people don't know that it may be also the best lane for buffaloes, said Graham. Unfortunately, not much is known about their species. Still among anglers, who fish for many different kinds of fish, the buffalo is a real treasure and a hard fish to analyze. But who knows, maybe more will be known about it soon. Number 11. Winged Fish with Evil Eyes could it be the devil lurking in the waters? Probably not, but this is still pretty weird. A strange deep water fish surprises a fisherman in Nova Scotia. Off the coast of Newfoundland, a fishing trawler recently pulled something out of the ocean that made even the most experienced fisherman look twice. 
Scott Tanner was on the boat when the fish was brought up. It had a long pointy nose, bright green eyes, and ribbed fins resembling feathered wings. The California Academy of Sciences says that chimeras are cartilaginous fish that split off from sharks about 400 million years ago. The Greek word chimera is used to talk about a mythical beast. You can find the long-nosed type off Nova Scotia and other parts of the Atlantic Ocean. They eat shrimp and crabs, and they don't hurt people. Phew. Number 10. Baby Albino Cyclops Shark Shocks Fishermen In Indonesia, fishermen were shocked to find, while cleaning an adult shark, a rare baby albino shark with one eye in the middle of its head. This was a similar find to one made off the coast of Mexico in 2011. When the fishermen in Indonesia's Maluku province pulled in their nets on October the 10th, they found a lifeless adult shark. Yahoo News Australia said the shark was accidentally caught in the net. We found three babies in its stomach, but one was strange looking because it had only one eye, Andy, 25 years old, told Yahoo News. It was also an odd color, like milk. The fisherman told the local marine office about the Cyclops baby shark and gave it to the staff there. The find was much like the Cyclops baby shark in an adult shark caught in the summer of 2011 southeast of La Paz, Mexico. Some people thought it was fake because they thought the photo had been changed, but it turned out to be true. Pete Thomas Outdoors said that, in that case, a mother bull shark was caught on a big hook, baited with ballyhoo, and tied to a line below a fixed buoy. When they were cleaning the fish, fishermen found the shark's body after they caught it. The fishermen found nine normal pups, and one with just a single eye. Number 9. Shark Steals Fisherman's Catch See a shark come out of nowhere and steal a fisherman's 1.83 meter catch. A group of fishermen was trying to reel in a big catch near Wiper, Queensland, off the coast of Australia. How the fishing pole is bent shows that this fish is ready for a fight. You can tell that he's got a huge mackerel to catch, and the line can be heard being let out. The fisherman moves to the front of the boat to get a better grip, and as he's reeling in the line and the 1.83 meter Spanish mackerel, which is popping up to the boat's left, at that point another fisherman tries to catch it with a large metal hook on the end of a hand help stick. He catches the fish and tries to pull it on the boat, but the big boy starts flailing around. Spanish mackerels can grow up to 2.1 meters long and weigh up to 40 kilograms. They look like torpedoes and have silvery scales with blue stripes. They live in the Indo-Pacific region and like tropical or subtropical waters. In far northern Australia, the best time to see it is in the summer. That's when they get together for the spawning season they have once a year. If you're in Australia and want to try and catch one of these, you should try and find out when they spawn in your area of Australia. Number 8. World Record Catfish Find out which catfish ever caught was the biggest in the world. Catfish can be very small, like the pencil catfish, which only gets around a centimeter long when fully grown, or very big, like the Wells catfish, which can weigh up to 199.581 kilograms when it's fully grown. Catfish are some of the most interesting and peculiar fish out there. They are easy to spot because of the whiskers on their faces, which help them get a feel for their surroundings. Half of the fish in this species have poison inside them. Some catfish, like the electric catfish of the Nile River, are very interesting. With up to 300 to 400 volts, a big one of these guys could stun a person. The river guys will insist that you wear shoes in the water. Catfish have changed over time to be able to do many different things, like walk and... Well, <laughs> I use this term very loosely here, talk. The spines of the striped Raphael catfish, also known as the talking catfish, make sounds that can be heard. But a walking catfish? The walking catfish walks on land in wet and dry places, using its pectoral fins as arms. This catfish can also breathe air out of the water, which helps it stay alive in times like droughts. Even though it wasn't born in the US, it has become a fast-breeding invasive species. Number 7. Boy, 11, catches the world's biggest carp. A schoolboy from Kent set a new record when he caught a fish almost as big as he was. 
Callum Petit, only 11, caught a seven stone carp in a lake near Reims, France. This is the biggest fish that a child has ever caught. It took him 20 minutes to catch the fish, and when they put it on the scales, he and his dad, Stuart, realized they would break a record. The huge catch weighed 43 kilograms, just a few pounds less than Callum's, and almost twice as big as his dad's best catch in 30 years of fishing. The fish was called Big Girl, and it went for Callum's special bait that tasted like banoffee. Stuart, age 40, didn't realize the fish was one of the biggest carp in Europe, until he went to put it in a landing net on the bank. Other fishermen gathered around to see what was going on. Callum said, and I quote, I couldn't believe how big it was, and my arms hurt a lot afterwards. The boy started fishing with his dad when he was just a wee lad, and his biggest catch before that was a 5.89 kilogram mirror carp. So what would be his next record? Who knows, he might just end up hitting the jackpot with his next catch. Number 6. Tennessee Piebald Catfish Although Captain Joe Jellison was aware that one of his anglers had a catfish on the end of their line, he had no idea that the fish would behave in the manner that it did. One of Jellison's customers, Rocco Manciuto, was fortunate enough to reel in a one-of-a-kind piebald catfish while out fishing. The white and black color of this kind of catfish sets it apart from others of its kind. Jellison and his three customers had previously been successful in reeling in some smallmouth and largemouth bass, as well as striped bass in the tailwaters of the Tennessee River below Chickamauga Dam. They had been fishing for striped bass right before they reeled in the catch. When the action with the bass slowed down, the group switched their attention to blue catfish. When Mansueto caught the piebald fish on his reel, they had already reeled in a few nice blue cats, including the one that weighed 12 kilograms. Scenic City Fishing Charters had its headquarters in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Jellison works as a fishing guide for the company. Even though Jellison has spent a significant amount of time on the water guiding and recording over the years, he was rendered speechless by Mansueto's catch because it was so amazing. Number 5. Fishermen Save the Turtle It is always amazing to see animals in the wild. It's on a different level to protect kids from predators. In the Bahamas, fishermen might observe roiling seas close to their boats. As they get closer, they realize that it is a tiger shark and a sea turtle fighting for their lives. As they process everything, a few curse words fly. The shark gets hold of the turtle as its flippers thrash in the water. No way, a fisherman responds. The turtle is very unfortunate. They observe as the turtle attempts to board the boat. It moves to the diving platform and futilely attempts to evade the shark. The tiger shark tightly grasps the turtle's shell. They grab a fishing pole to assist the turtle. Keratin makes up the turtle's shell, which does a wonderful job defending it in the wild. While the shark has a firm hold, the turtle's delicate body is protected by its shell. The fishermen are nonetheless prepared and eager to transport the turtle to safety. They declare, we must save the turtle! As a result, the shark lets the turtle go, and the turtle swims away, content to be still alive. Number 4. Huge sunfish weighing up to 2 tons found The mammoth sunfish, a species that is considered vulnerable and is not eaten in Europe, measured 3.2 meters in length and 2.9 meters in width. Enrique Ostel, who was called to evaluate the find, stated that it was a record for the area which, due to tides and sunfish migratory patterns, has no shortage of such encounters. According to the estimates of many specialists, the monstrous sunfish, discovered entangled in tuna fishing nets in the Mediterranean, could weigh up to 2,000 kilograms. It was a record catch for the Spanish autonomous city of Ceuta, located in the north coast of Africa. The crazy thing is, when the sunfish was weighed, it was so heavy that the scale almost broke. The aforementioned Enrique Ostal has stated that he had only ever read about sunfish of this size in fiction, but now that it's a reality, it is stressful to obtain the needed records. The fish was isolated in an underwater chamber attached to the boat. After that, it was brought aboard using a crane, where it remained for a few minutes while Ostel and his fellow biologists obtained measurements, images, and DNA samples. Number 3. Fisherman Catches Monster-Sized Fish in the UK 
UK angler Andy Hackett successfully reeled in the carrot, a monstrous carp with an astounding weight of 30.3 kilograms, after a 25 minute battle against this huge creature. According to Blue Water Lakes, the fishery in France's Champagne area, where the behemoth resides, is thought to be the second largest of her kind ever to be taken. When typical fish are just below the surface, it can be difficult to spot them, but because the carrot is so blatantly brilliantly orange, you can't miss it. The enormous goldfish-like creature quickly stands out on the water's surface because of its eye-catching orange colour. But catching the carrot has proven to be difficult. The valued fish, a cross between a leather carp with a koi carp, was caught by Hackett on November the 3rd while he was at the lake location. This biggin is highly sought after by many. Anglers tried to catch one of the many fish in blue water lakes that can weigh up to more than 22.7 kilograms and some even more than 40 kilograms in a private location. Since then, it has continued to develop, although it hasn't emerged much. This is an exceptional lakefront home. Number 2. Texan Anglers Catch Rare 5 Foot Black Alligator Gar Two Texas anglers found a fish that they had never seen before, and consequently decided to end their fishing vacation in a southeast Texan marsh. Justin Jordan said that he's heard of alligator gar in the past, but seeing one in reality had startled him to bits. He said that he and his friend Terrell McGuire caught the 1.52 meter gar using a spork, a crab-like fly prepared by Colin Scoville, another friend, and fellow skipper. Regarding his fly intended for redfish, Jordan said, The gar ate it somehow, he hooked it, and began jumping crazy out of the water. The anglers and gar engaged in a 10 minute battle before the team could measure and photograph it. As a result, the team returned it to the waters. Alligator gars are typically olive in hue, although the prevalence of melanism in the wild is unknown, it is considered a rare genetic disorder. Melanism is separate from leucism, which causes leg pigmentation and albinism, which results in a complete lack of pigmentation. And Jordan piped in and said, I knew it was a melanistic alligator gar, but I've never seen one before. When we first caught it, I had no idea how rare it was. Number 1. Giant Blue Marlin Caught in Balabac Seas a fisherman from the Philippines was in for the biggest surprise when he hauled in a giant fish that he estimated would fetch close to $1,500. The fisherman is called Mark Jun Ruta. He was 30 years old at the time, and he was just taken aback on February 22nd when he pulled the hook and line out of the waters of Balabac in Palawan. He told a local news outlet that he was completely blown away and filled with awe upon witnessing the fish's enormous size. Ruta reeled in a blue marlin which weighed around 270 kilograms. According to him, it was the first time he had ever caught a fish of that size because the largest fish he had ever caught in the past weighed only between 100 and 150 kilograms. A capture of that size is quite uncommon to come across. Because of the sheer size of the fish, Ruta and his six buddies had a lot of trouble getting it onto their boat. But in the end, they were successful. After immediately delivering their catch to Puerto Princesa, the gang departed. According to Coconuts Molina, the results of their labor paid off because the enormous blue marlin allegedly sold for between $5.07 and $5.44 per kilogram, which means they likely made almost $1,500 from the sale of the fish. Talk about amazing news! And hey, he earned a bit of cash on the side as well. Everybody wins. Except the fish, of course. What a dive that was! Which of these huge sea creatures amazes you the most and why? Tell us down in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our page if you have yet to do so, in order to get notified when we post more amazing content like this. We'll see you next time then folks, this is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. And have a good one.